Hey guys, just want to do another tutorial on how to texture a knife. Uh, this is the, the knife that I made in the last tutorial. Or time lapse, I'd say. But uh, just bring this menu up right here, change it to the UV image editor, and tab. Oh, before you do this, you want to make a new folder on your desktop and this is where you're going to put all the files I just made, named my knife after that you want to uh, you want to add your lights for your ambient occlusion map so shift A add mesh um, I usually like to add a hemi light and then bring it up about however far you think I'd say about right there. Got like a nice uh I don't know. whatever. Shift D, duplicate that, and then move it. Rotate X one eighty. So now you have two of them. This one will be Alright, now once you have both of them, select or select both of them, shift D, duplicate them, rotate Y ninety. I'll bring this one. Get this again, shift D. Rotate X ninety. All right, so now you have all over. That's good. So to have an edit mode, A to select all U Smart UV Project point three. Okay, you're gonna get that up here. Then you want to go to U or select all of that. Pack islands, UVs, packed islands, and then size that down a little bit. Just so you don't get the edges messed up. Now hit new. Name this uh, knife um, UV. Whatever. Wait, wait. Just name it knife. All right. Um, or knife or whatever object you're doing. Sorry about that. Okay. Now you want to go to go to the little picture right here. The little render settings and go down to bake at the bottom and instead of full render change it to ambient occlusion and click bake and it looks like we have some flipped normals easy fix though um, right here just go to face, select, 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 W, flip normals, and it's black because it was already flipped so it didn't read anything, so we're going to have to redo the bake after this, W, flip normals, W flip normals. All right, now just make sure you got everything this time. Looks like we do. Select everything, or you don't really have to, but big ambient occlusion. Bam. See that got rid of that? Now, if you look at it, Make sure it looks cool. I say that looks pretty good. I mean, it could use some work maybe, but uh, I don't really like to mess with the ambient occlusion too much because it's kind of strange. I just don't really like it. Uh, let's try something real quick, smooth. Kind of makes it look pretty cool. 
but I'm just gonna leave it on flat so you can see all the detail. Alright, so once you have your ambient occlusion map, what you're gonna do is image, save as image, and name this knife AO. Make sure it's in the knife folder, save as image. Alright, now go into edit mode, UVs, export UV layout. Name this knife UV in the knife folder, export UV layout. And when you export UV layout, make sure this is make sure make sure it's selected, or else I don't think it's gonna export. Um now we're gonna go to Photoshop. File. Got a little bit of lag here. I installed a lot of stuff, so it's probably why it's lagging. I need to reset my computer or something. Alright, file. Um, open. Lord, it's taking like six years. Alright, um, pin, pin, pin. What, what was I doing? Oh, knife. Wrong folder. Uh, where's the knife folder? Come on, I'm all day. Knife. Alright, shifts like those. Alright, caps. Shift. Open. Make sure you got that. Get your ambient occlusion. That's a really nice ambient occlusion now that I think of it. Uh, drag it onto the knife and try and move that up. Make sure it's aligned good. Command plus to move it around. But uh, I think that's good. I uh, want to name these now. Name this UV. Name this AO. Oops, meant to capitalize. It doesn't really matter though. Make a new layer. Name it Diffuse. Alright, so on the diffuse layer, we're just going to paint this. So I'm going to get it started, but then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pause the video and show y'all what I've done. Let's get a brown brush. Just gonna demonstrate this. You can use photos or whatever, and that's the handle. Just paint it brown and set it to overlay. So now you have a brown handle. I'm just gonna pause this while I texture this. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just wanted to tell y'all I, I kind of ran into a problem here. Um, as you can see, these pieces right here were actually the wooden part. What I did was I selected them somehow, and I moved them onto the wood part, and it actually turned out quite good. You can see there's a bit of quality loss and seam, but, I mean, there's going to be a hand on top of that, so you're not really going to tell, and I kind of am doing this fast because I, I have a deadline. So, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I got the textures on here. What you want to do to load the textures is make a new material, make a new texture, image, or movie, open it, and then set the mapping to UV, and then go to image, open, and then select your image right here, and then 
tab into edit mode and it should appear on here. Uh, if not, comment below and I can help you out. And now I'm going to add some more detail to this and I'll come back right back. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, do a little Photoshop tutorial while I'm in here. Um, I made this layer and it's adding some detail to the knife. But I want to change that to make it brighter. So just get your lasso tool and make a quick, quick, quick selection around it. Alright. Now you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Bring the brightness up all the way. Contrast. Can I not do this? Okay. Image adjustments, brightness, contrast. I'm going to change the contrast up this time. Nope. Okay, I guess less contrast. It's, it's more now. Hit OK. Um, I guess that's lighter. I mean, I don't know. Um, change this to white. Brush. I'm just going to test something real quick. OK. Command D. Um, it looks a little bit better. Going to go to a file. Save for web and devices. PNG. Save. Knife. Change it to the regular knife because you want to overwrite it. Save. Replace. Now open that image, reload image. There you go. Yeah, I don't think that did anything at all, really. Uh, but there's another thing I can do. Create a new layer because this one I just changed the opacity, and I think that's why. Brush. Now I'll go to and you want to paint all along the blade. This is the shiny part. And I'm going to change the UV on so I'm not going out of my perimeters. I can do it a little bit, but I want to stay in the segments, right? Go paint. Oh, that's okay. I'm going fast. I mean, it's it's kind of good to go fast because if you're doing it slow, you're going to look for all the little details, which probably aren't going to matter once you finish the whole thing because it's going to look awesome once you do. All right, now I'm going to disable that, and I'm going to change the opacity on this. I'm going to create a new layer. Same thing. Now I'm just going to paint the whole thing so I can get some blending in here. And I, I want the knife to be like white almost. Okay, so Now go back to this layer and grab the smudge tool. Smudge this out. Okay, file save for web and devices again. PNG save. Save it as a knife. Save, replace. Image, reload image. Okay. We have it's a lighter. I'm gonna do a texture mode. I mean that looks pretty good, especially when you're gonna get a uh, if we had a, a specular map, I believe what that's what it's called. Then that's going to turn out really shiny, and this we can add like a bump map too, and it'll turn.
turn out really bumpy. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's the. I'm just gonna set that as the end of the tutorial. I believe you've learned enough about texturing and how I do it. So I'll see you next time. Bye.